What's up guys, this is Shavain and in this video, I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that you have this error in PowerShell that start experience host is already in use when you type in the following command. So before we begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related issues, then just comment it below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first thing you have to do is open up your PowerShell as an administrator. You can do that by going to your Windows search and then searching for PowerShell and then right clicking on it and running it as an administrator. Or if you already have opened up PowerShell, then just right click on the icon of PowerShell on your taskbar and then you'll see an option for run as administrator. So once you open up PowerShell in administrator, make sure that you paste the following command and I'll link this command in the description below for you to check out. So paste this command before anything and now paste the command that you're having problem with, but do not run it yet. First, go to task manager and you can do that by right clicking your taskbar and then going to task manager. And once you're in task manager, go to the details tab in the details tab. Find a process known as start menu experience host.exe. Once you find it, just select it and now you really have to be quick here. So click on end task and then it will ask you whether you want to end the task. Just click yes and immediately go back to your PowerShell and then press enter on the command that you just pasted to run it. Now the thing is that start experience host is a default windows process and it automatically starts as soon as you close it. But this way it gives the command some time to run before the process restarts and causes the error. So just try it out and if it doesn't work then we have the next solution to this problem. So again go to your task manager and go to the details tab and then again select start experience host.exe. Then right click on it and then go to open file location. Once you open up the location of the start experience host, then just cut the .exe file and make sure that you cut it, not copy it. And then paste that file in some other location. Now, once you do that, if it shows you an error that you cannot do that and you don't have the permission to do that, then for that also, I have a video on my channel, which you can just watch to fix that issue. So once you paste the exe file in another location, just run the command and see whether it works now. Now I missed a step here. Once you cut and paste the start experience host exe file in another folder, just go to your task manager and make sure now you end the start experience host.exe file and after ending the task, then run the command. Now the command should be working as you can see and the problem is finished. Once the command runs, then just go back to your folder where you pasted the start experience host.exe file and then move it back to its original location. If you do not do that, then your start will not work in Windows 10 or any Windows. So this was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it and it helped you solve this issue. If it didn't, just comment down below and we can make a video specially for you. And if it did, just like the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you comment down below that it worked. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.